morning and welcome to beware of spoilers i am adam and i am backing out of my driveway awkwardly because i parked far back today instead of parking in the front like i usually do um but today we're here to talk about the anarchists the hbo max show about anarchists episode two came out and it's two of six and I think this is the first... I don't think they mentioned a murder in the first episode. Um, but there is a murder mentioned at the end of this episode. So I think we're getting towards what happened here. Um, which appears to be a murder. Um, so... I think it's time for me to uh, amend what I said last time about... You know, these people are reasonably normal. They just believe in there not being a state. Um... One of the things that I realized when I'm talking about this episode is that there's a lot of coded talk in this show um, that is anti-Semitic. Um, they can't outright say the anti-Semitic things, but the amount they talk about how they're trying to get one over on central bankers and, and things like that, it's obvious what their, what their, what the subtext of their statements are, um, that is fairly obvious, um, and it, it is, it is kind of reminiscent of, again, that other documentary, Behind the Curve, not in so much as, like, again, the documentary takes kind of a neutral stance towards, um, what's called, towards, um, anarchism, it doesn't take a stance when we go over whether or not anarchism is good or bad, it's just kind of, um, an ideology. It's not the role of the documentary to be like, this is a good ideology or this is a bad ideology. Um, I mean, at this point they could, um, but that's not the point of it. It's like, what was that other show with Andrew Garfield earlier this year that I only watched one episode of and I was like, fuck this. Um, uh, Under the Banner of Heaven, which took a very argumentative stance towards, um, what's it called, towards Mormons. Now, I know Under the Banner of Heaven is not a documentary, but it is true crime. It's based on, you know, it's based on a true story. Um, and it, it takes a very argumentative stance towards Mormonism, and it doesn't portray Mormonism as that great. Um, that's something this show could do, um, but it's like, it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't think that necessarily this show is 100% on, what's it called? On, um, I'm bored with. Um, what else is there? Um, so, what we get is we get the arrival of cryptocurrency. It's really the inciting incident for what happens in this episode. It's, you know, cryptocurrency being Bitcoin or any number of other um, blockchain-based, you know, coins. Again, documentary still doesn't quite explain what the fuck it is or how it works, because I still, to this day, I don't understand what Bitcoin is or how it works. Um, I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, uh, and, and, and no one has ever made an attempt to explain to me how it works either. And, and nothing I've watched has really explained to me how it works or what it is either. It's always these brash, like, these are all the cool things we can do with Bitcoin besides buying drugs and buying hitmen and buying guns and all this kind of stuff. Like, it, 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 it's like, we can use it to destabilize entire nations. I'm like, yeah, but how? How can you do that? Um, and watching this show doesn't answer that question either. I'm sure there are people out there who understand Bitcoin. I'm sure there are resources available for me to go and read if I was really so inclined. I just don't think it's worth it. Um, because it's like, and, and he says like, well, it's not really gambling. It's kind of like playing poker. I'm like, all right, so it's exactly gambling. Like, that is the definition of gambling. Like, you sound, like the only people who say that poker is not gambling are gambling addicts, and and yes, there is a certain skill to it and a certain skill to, you know, to 
to, to trading in, in cryptocurrency. But at the same time, there's too many luck-based variables in trading cryptocurrency that it's not worth the risk, I don't think. Um, especially not for me. Um, I'm not going to risk... What's it called? All right, fat motherfucker. Why are you walking across the street and not taking the fucking... It's just... It's unreal. It really is unreal when you see... Have you ever seen someone about one storefront away from the crosswalk and they just walk in the middle of the street and I'm not talking like in a city where cars are going reasonably slow I'm talking like on a, a major county road where stoplights are every like four blocks and the speed limit's 55 like unreal um probably shouldn't call it fat though that was a little needless but you don't get hit by a car um not mine um where was I with cryptocurrency? But the arrival of crypto brought in um, new types that weren't necessarily anarchists to the group. Because the thing is, cryptocurrency in, in the mid 2010s, mid to late 2010s, was trying to gain legitimacy. Um, and in a way, this is a way to reach out to people who were, you know, who were using cryptocurrency talking about what it could be. So, these people who didn't believe that there should be a state or anything like that. And I think that's the other thing, too, that really needs to be addressed, is that these people who fall into this ideology are all people who have been personally wronged or perceived to have been wronged by the state or don't have a fundamental understanding of what the state is. Like... One guy went, uprooted himself, moved to Acapulco because he he want, he needs to get a variance um, or a permit to put something in his yard. And he's like, I thought I owned this land. I thought that, and it's like, well, yes, you own the land. However, because not everything is safe, like putting in a pool without a permit, it becomes a safety issue. It becomes an insurance issue. It becomes an issue of where someone could drown. If you have the pool, an above-ground pool, and it's not properly installed, the seams could break and it could leak all over and it could destroy the neighbor's property. That's why that exists. And I, I, I think it's just like this... Like, I don't know if it's willful ignorance on the part of these people or like the idea that like they just don't want to hear it. And they're like, well, no, that's not how it should be. It's like, well, no, that, that is how it works to live in a society. Like, not to sound like one of those fucking idiots online, but if you're going to live in a society and interact with other people in a society, these rules exist for the safety of others. It's it's, it's the same kind of thing as the, the mask mandates, where it's like people didn't understand that, like, no, wearing the mask is not going to protect you from getting COVID, but it will make it harder for you to transmit COVID, because you're not spitting all over the place then. Um, because that's what the mask did. Um... And it's just this idea that, like, well, I don't want to have to, you know, I, 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 like, the minor inconvenience of wearing a mask is not worth the, you know, is not worth the, the, the societal good of COVID not transmitting as much. And, and it's like, things like that, where it's like, it, it, it won't affect them personally, therefore we have to not, we're not going to do anything to help at all. Um, we're coming up on the highway, which, as you, if you've been listening, um, to the last few episodes that weren't recorded in 2018, I just want to put it out there, a lot of the episodes I've gone up lately have been, uh, recorded in the past, um, because there was a snafu, um, with payment, and I did not, and everything that was up got lost, um, so, we'll discuss that more in a little bit when I get back. Okay, we're back, um, so, yeah, so I, I started uploading some of the old episodes, and, and they're noted in the episode descriptions, the original recording date, um, as per, well, original upload date, some may have been recorded and uploaded the next day, uh, but as per YouTube, those are the dates that those videos went live, um, back when we originally recorded them, um, and they're going up every day, I think, for the rest of the month, um, 
so, yeah, um, anyway, where were we on the anarchists, um, I'm talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, okay, so, these, um, they, they're throwing the thing, and cryptocurrency starts gaining mainstream appeal, um, and I, I think that that's, you know, Oh, every person there has been per- feels that they've been personally wronged by the state in some way. That's what I was saying. Um, but if you look at like what the like besides the, guy, the ordinances, there was a guy. This guy actually was wronged by the state. He was he served in Iraq and then got totally, totally, totally. Uh, he got PTSD by the end of it, and I guess the state has never helped. And he went out and fought for them, and then then you know he came back and didn't work, and it's like, what's it called, it's like, uh, it's messed up, um, um, someone lost part of their car, um, I think that, 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 like, that's kind of the thing of the show, is it's like, we're seeing what happens to a person that leads them to the anarchist lifestyle, uh, scheme of things, that's so like, what happens to a person that makes them go, everything I've learned this far is a lie, and a lot of it is narcissism, and I thought that was funny, because one lady said, oh, my parents were narcissists, and I didn't want to be like them, and it's like, well, you, you inherently believe that you shouldn't have to live in a society, because you're the most important person in it, and, and you have this autonomous sense of self with no sense of responsibility to anyone else on the planet, and it's like, it, is that not narcissism? Like, that, like, how is that not? Um, and, and that's kind of the entire show, is it's this entire thing, and, and now that crypto gets brought in, now you start getting people who, you know, we, this is what causes a schism in, in, in the, in, in the proceedings, because, as with most ideologies, you end up where there are people who don't believe certain... Like, as an ideology grows, and as people with access to an ideology grow, um, you end up with more and more people thinking and, and coming up with thoughts on it. And as it as anything, be it religion, be it political views, or anything like that, gets bigger and bigger and bigger, people start to divide. Um, and then came the new... What's it called? The new version of it, um, Anarcho Foco, Forco, or something like that, which is, they believe themselves to be the purists, and it's like, if you look at, like, what it is, it's like, the entire thing just screams of grift, and the entire thing is also, like, communism mixed with anti-Semitism, and it's kind of just, you know, silly the way they portray it, um, but... There's also some interpersonal drama that's happening in this episode, too, where one guy's moving down there, and his wife is the breadwinner, and then his wife's like, alright, well, fuck you, I'm not gonna stay with you. So he's gotta live in this little shitty-ass apartment. Meanwhile, his wife is living with this guy who's very rich and has a lot of money, um, which is into crypto, and then and then we get to the end of the episode, and then it's like, and then a murder happened, and it's like, well, can we hear about the murder? That's what I want to hear about, like... The first two hours are great, um, but if I knew there was a murder coming, I'd be like, oh, this is very different, and I would have, it totally reframes how you view the first two episodes about it, but, you know, here's the problem with anarchy. If there's no system of laws in place and no system of justice in place, you just end up with a murder, and then it's like, well, what do we do now? Um, and, and I do find it really funny that they had this, uh, crypto ATM, that they got online after a few days at the second one, and, like, almost immediately Interpol showed up to break it up because they needed to get the ATM back because the ATM was stolen. Um, but, yeah, it's a... It's an interesting show. It is an interesting show. It's an interesting bunch of characters, and I'm interested to see where they go from here. Like, what is the next step after this? Um, and where does the show you know, expand into in the future. 
Um, but we will wrap up there for today. I know the episodes seem shorter, uh, but that's just because of road work. Because uh, I record these while I drive to and from work. Um, these podcasts, and uh, when I'm on my way to work, there is a what's it called? There is uh, the highway's torn up. Uh, they are doing they're they're repaving the highway, and while that's going. Uh, the car is vibrating and moving so much, you can't record audio efficiently. Um, but yeah, we'll wrap up there for today. Our next episode will be um, Thursday, I think. We'll put up an episode about, nope, once I see more concrete show times, because that's the problem with this fucking my movie theater going through renovations. So everything I use is going through renovations right now, and it's like, well, what the fuck? Um, the theater's going through renovations, so the show times are still not totally up yet, and I don't want to go at 7 o'clock after working all day. Um, it's like get off at 5.30, so there's, there's a considerable amount of disconnect time um, between the leaving and then what's it called. You're good FedEx guy. Between leaving and then going to, uh, what's it called? Going to the next, uh, the next movie. And I don't want to have to either sit there and wait and then get home really late. Because then it's like, the movie doesn't start till 7. So, really it's like, you know, we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be seated in, in the theater watching it until, like, the movie doesn't have to start till 7.30 after previews and all that kind of stuff. So, it is kind of, you know one of those things that I don't want to do. But until our next episode, have a great rest of your week.